in the United States. Hundreds of Occupy Wall Street protesters are celebrating their first victory. Plans for a mass cleanup of New York's Zuccotti Park, which the activists uh, are there against corporate greed, considered an attempt to force them out, have now been cancelled. RT's uh, Lucy Kafanov now joins us now uh, with the latest uh, from New York. Uh, Lucy, hello. So why uh, was the cleanup of Zuccotti Park cancelled? Well, I think uh, a lot of it had to do with the fact that thousands, uh, at least two to 3,000, ended up turning out here in Zuccotti Park uh, behind me. The crowd is a little bit smaller now. They have gone on a, on a protest, uh, on a march near Wall Street. We actually just got uh, reports of uh, clashes with police. We'll see if we can work on that video for you. But uh, the massive, massive turnout has really fueled, uh, I guess, speculation by the police department, by this administration, the mayor's administration here in New York, that uh, uh, with so much media attention, so many people, they really couldn't afford another instance like what we saw two weeks ago where an unprecedented number of New Yorkers were arrested as part of the Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street occupation. So I think there was a lot of fear that uh, clashes could happen. And part of all of this is the fact that these protesters, most of the ones that I've spoken to, are determined to stay regardless of what the police does. Uh, one man who I spoke to uh, yesterday when we were uh, really expecting some tedious clashes had this to say. Take a listen. It's a pretext to, to, uh, of sanitation to come in and move people out and then set new conditions about moving back in. It's just a, it's the move to dislodge this, this group. So we, we pretty much understand what's going on here. We have 24-7 cleanup around here all the time, and there aren't really any issues. But uh, in the spirit of cooperation, we're going to make a big effort to get the, because we had rain and everything. So, you know, we've got wet cardboard, and it's, it does need a, a a good cleanup, you know. Well, I'm not leaving, so I don't know what what, what we're going to do, you know, human chain or otherwise. But I'm not leaving, so somebody's going to have to take me out of here. That's what they want to do. And that that really has been the attitude for most of the people that we've spoken to here. Protesters were scrubbing the floors on hands and knees, but really, it's not about sanitation. It's not about the cleanliness of the park. It's about the fact that these movements are spreading across America. They're popping up in hundreds of cities across the country. And folks, simply the, the establishment, the police departments, the politicians, they're nervous. They have not seen this kind of unprecedented movement in the United States. And at this point, it does not show any sign of dwindling. All right, well, uh, Lisa, you, you talk about how this movement is rippling across America, but what's, uh, what's next then? What can we expect? Well, uh, we do know that October 15th, uh, which I guess is tomorrow, is going to be the big day to watch. This is when the situation is expected to spread to Europe, but massive uh, protest planned all across the country, including here in New York. Uh, the occupiers plan on staying here in Zuccotti Park. They plan on um, converging in Times Square uh, in the evening, which should be very interesting to watch. Uh, a lot of uh, police presence in Times Square and a lot more potential for clashes because we have to keep in mind uh, most of the arrests, most of the uh, confrontations with the police have been when protesters leave this area and walk down the streets. That gives the police here a lot more of an excuse, so to speak, to uh, uh, put people in corners and try to stop the movements that way. But for now, uh, the folks here are determined to stay. Uh, we've seen terrible weather, rain, cold. They have not been deterred by that. So it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out and whether it could play out peacefully or whether we'll see uh, further crackdowns like we've seen, for example, in Denver yesterday, in Seattle, and across the country. Right. Uh, thanks for the update there. Our artist, uh, Lucy Kapanoff, uh, live in New York. Thanks.